everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 284. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Jerome! Jerome! Ah! Welcome to the couch! Hello. Thank you for having me. So excited to finally have you on the show. I've known you for so long, and now you're finally I, here. I've always wanted to be on the, the Always. Couch. Since he was born. Uh -huh. ah! Who's that? That is Chibasara, our ninja monkey. Aww. Who's this? That is Shaolu, our kung fu monkey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, well, you guys... <laughs> play with those <laughs> and we'll get back to them in just a moment after I tell all of you wonderful people what Toy Break is. What is what is a Toy Break? Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys including but oh, not limited to designer vinyl, plush, huh? Ah. action figures, puppets, collectibles, events, interviews, whatever else we can bring you in the wonderful world of toys. Let's thank, start as we always do by thanking our site sponsors like Dragatomi. Button Lab, Tenacious Toys, Super Power Collectibles, DKE Toys, 3D Retro, Happy Panda Toys, Victory Deluxe, Frombies. Tomonosuke, Art Attack Toys, Suburban Vinyl, and Vinyl Riot. George. Do you have a contest going on? We do. <laughs> I, I was, he's too distracted by the toys. <laughs> so you sit up can here. You, can you tell us about <laughs> You sit up here, little monkey. <laughs> you um, made such an amazing product, he couldn't even think or speak. We aim to distract. <laughs> OMFG Series 3 contest. Win a super set of OMFG Series 3 by heading over to the forum at toybreak.com and posting a word that begins with the last letter of the previous post in the contest section. You guys have been doing great. Everybody's getting it. Um, obviously, the people that have watched the show are posting. Because if you yep. don't watch the show, people are just posting random words. It's a secret. Words. We didn't put it online. So you have to watch okay. the show to know why everybody's posting random words. Um, so you can win the Flesh and Black OMFG Series 3, along what? with the Flesh and Black Zombie Fadens, and the Purple and Gray Toy Break minifigure. What? Those are all by OctoberToys.com. That's like a super set. Deadline is November 20th. Awesome. All right. Uh, so we are going to kick off the reviews in just a second. But through the magic of television, this is actually after DesignerCon now. So how awesome was DesignerCon? Everyone? It was amazing. It was so oh my great. God. When that person showed up with <laughs> that person and had that thing. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> amazing. And all the toys we bought. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're very excited to finally have you here, uh -huh. Jerome, Hyperactive Monkey. Yes. What? Tell us about you. What, what's going on? HyperactiveMonkey.com. Oh, so, um, Hyperactive Monkey is, you know, we've always said, me and my girlfriend have always said, it's it's where your, your wildest adventures and your Saturday morning uh, adventures come true. So it's just Aww. kind of like we love to do, like, fun stuff. So we do puppets, toys, we're doing video games, we got books, you know, high-end collectibles, just a little bit of everything and stuff we want to... Skate deck? Yeah, skate deck. Stuff we want to play with and stuff that we hope other people want to play with. Just like quality, good stuff. Quality, with good monkeys. stuff? monkeys. <laughs> Hence the hyperactive yes. monkey name. Yes. And if you couldn't tell, he's the hyperactive very, part very. of the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> no <right>. caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> There's not. I don't think I've ever seen you drink caffeine. I do, though. I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. I love Coca-Cola. I could tell. And you call it Coca-Cola, not Coke? <laughs> I do. I like actually eat Mexican awesome. Coca-Cola. Ooh, very specific. Very. For pure sugar. Yes. <laughs> what about pure sugar Dr. Pepper? Ooh, Dr. Pepper's good. Dr. Pepper is good. 23 flavors of deliciousness. Oh, cherry. Cherry Dr. Peppers. <laughs> now, when they add the cherry, does it become 24 flavors? I don't know. I think it does. My favorite's actually orange Coca-Cola. Do you ever try that? What? You no. Know, some of the AMCs now have, like, a, a fountain machine where you can select, like, add-ons to your Coca-Cola. So they have, like, grape oh, yeah. Coca-Cola. And it's, like, like an you can fountain. only get it in, like, movie theaters. It's, it's really? pretty cool. That's pretty Well, if I'm neat. at an AMC, I am 100% yes. already getting a white cherry icy. Yes. So I probably will never try a Coke. Because That's I a point for AMC. A it is, actually, did. because we usually... <laughs> Not a sponsor. I have an Not issue. a sponsor. I have an issue with the movie theater situation because like we usually go to Arclight. Yeah. Because Arclight's awesome. It's expensive. And, well, it's expensive, but you get to like pick yeah. your seat and you can show you up beer. like five seconds before the movie and your seat's there. But they don't have good ICs. Yes, this is true. But when I go to AMC, I get really excited because then I can get my white cherry icy. We always ask for a little Coca Cola and the white cherry icy. I, that's me. What? I love. Yeah, you, you can really ah, love Coca Cola. I do. I, I, I've I never I love thought of that. It's, that it's really good. It's very good. That sounds delicious. delicious. 
All right. Well, let's talk about toys since that was. Well, no, no, I see. About. Do you have your you have your book Rick. here? Yeah. That we could show off. Yes. Yes. I actually uh, have a copy for you guys. Aww. Look. I drew what? you as um, uh, hairy monkeys and like a stylish monkey. I didn't have a purple pen, so I couldn't. I'm do a that. stylish monkey. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm supposed to do highlights. So. So I said Jerome. to Georgia Alien, you guys are ultimate toy monkeys. Oh. So we're that's official. So cool. We're official monkeys yeah. now. Oh, that's so awesome. So let's show. Let's show. That makes it Monkey bit. Tuesday. This is the ABCs of Kung Fu. Monkey Tuesday. <laughs> that's a podcast he listens to. Has Monkey Tuesday. Monkey Tuesday <laughs> sounds good. And since Toy Break goes up on Tuesdays, it's, it's Monkey, Monkey every, Tuesday. Yes, Monkey Tuesday. Monkey every day for Monkey. me. <laughs> we'll show off that's the D amazing. for Decon. And Drunken Demon, but this is a kids book, so it's not drunken off alcohol. It's off of soda pop and uh, chocolate milk. That's a disclaimer we have to have. <laughs> Asterix. So, yes. But again, like we, These you know, are look at how look at this. We really are. wanted to do something that like kids and adults would like, so we did. These bunnies. Why yeah. don't we need these bunnies too? I love bunnies. Little plush ones that are like floppy. Yes, plush. We want to do a lot more stuff. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, you guys have a ton of stuff already, yes. which is awesome. Yes. You clearly know what you're doing. Uh, it's like you've worked in toys so, before. I'm just sore at <laughs> <laughs> But I know that's the great thing. I think, you know, um, you know, I, I did work in the toy industry for, as my day job. But I think the great thing is the, the toy community. We're all very, very helpful. Like, I remember George came to one of, like, an early, I think it was Wizard World. And he took a photo of, like, my Ninja Monkey. And he posted it on the Toy Break forum. And then, like, seriously, that week, I sold out because of that. Like, you kidding? No, I seriously. And someone, I said, like, where'd you guys sign out? And then George, someone said, yeah, Toy Break forums. So I was like, oh! Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So I was, like, really I excited. feel like that was racist. Yeah, your stuff. Did. No, it's, no. It's, uh, no. It's, it's oh. racist to monkeys? <laughs> yes. That was racist, too. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of puppets. Yeah. And these, like, the cool thing about these is they're so plush on top mm -hmm. that... They don't have to just be puppets. Right. A you lot of people use them punch plush. people with Yes. Yeah. You're boxing this. How's that? That's plush. Yeah? Do you pu punch people with them all no. the time? No. You punch each you other? You should not hit. I do uh, patty cakes. Oh. So we go, psh, 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 psh. I'm not good at, <laughs> it just looks like they're hugging. Yeah, I'm not good I think at they were just hugging. I'm not good at patty cake. Adorable. Yes. Yeah, fun stuff. Going to so take how does over it, the uh, world. I mean, because you have puppets, do little kids just come up and, like, go crazy at your boots? Yeah, and that's the great thing. It's like, you know, when we started this, you know, we, we, I mean, we do, you know, the vinyl toys and the collectible resin and stuff that's a little higher price point. But I think that's what we've noticed is, like, a lot of the kids come up to us and really like our stuff. And that, that's what really makes me happy is, like, you know, you don't have to, you, you can be any age and just like my stuff. And that's, that makes me really happy and just want to do more of this kind of stuff. Yeah. I love it when kids are the most excited. Like when, like seeing little kids play with the toys yeah. that we make is the coolest. Just yeah, it's, it's the like best. that's who we're making it for yeah. anyway. Like I wish we could get it to a much cheaper price point so like yeah. all the little kids could have them. But yeah, he's agreeing. So oh. you said so you you pointed to these host. little vinyls here. What are these guys? Yeah, these are from uh, Dynamite Rex. These are, um, are this is a, a version I did for them. This is uh, Shaolin Rar. And then this is the Demon Shaolin Rar. This is this was our uh, designer con exclusive, and uh, it did great there. <laughs> in the past future. Yes, in the past future. <laughs> Alternate timeline. But uh, they approached me last year to do one, and I, I, I loved the platform. And then I, I asked if I could do uh, my own exclusive How can that source be bad? This one is. This is a demon. But, like, he's not, is he, like, a sugar demon? Yes, he's a sugar demon. Okay. He he's uh he 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 kicks prehistoric butt. <laughs> <laughs> he, he only kicks other dinosaurs' yeah. butts. Are the hands articulated? Look at how clean those yeah. are. Oh, they are. Look at that. Yeah, these are these are uh, these are production. You know what's interesting is I don't think I've ever seen straight out arm. I mean, it, it totally works on this figure. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. I've never seen that style on a figure before. It's cool. I really like the, the the styling. I mean, it's got a good silhouette, like the side view and everything. I thought it was just a really unique, good platform. So, it was pretty original. So even though these pro almost completely sold out at Decon, yes. there may be one or two. They're just, they're just a little bit. We may have on saved just on my site. <laughs> if you saved a couple for people. Yes, yes. Which was super nice of you. Yes, yes, of course. And your site, of course, is? HyperactiveMonkey.com. <laughs> <laughs> and how much are these? I'm sorry, did you already say that? I was playing. No, with the these these were gonna sell for uh, the designer con one is is gonna be uh, sixty five dollars. Oh, 
Oh. And then you get the puppets on our site for twenty dollars. These guys are only twenty dollars. Only twenty. Nice. I think I said that to you at Comic Con too, because every time you say yes. it, I'm like, "Are you serious? They're yes. only twenty dollars." And our book is fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. That's like a Christmas miracle. I feel like if I was to buy this in a store, it would be more than twenty dollars. But see, that's what we're we're we're, we're we think of the everyday. I just I'm honestly the everyday saying person. that we do. Yeah, no, I agree. I I, agree. I mean, look at these. These are really yes, well made. They're nice. street like beautiful production yes. work. There's, look at how clean that is. Yes. Nice embroidery. I see a lot of plush. Sometimes yeah. you see the embroidery and you're like, that's really yeah. not so good embroidery. This is nice one embroidery. Good. One would say I may have experience in the toy industry. That one would say. So okay. Did you want to talk about your experience? Yeah, I'll talk about it. I, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I spent, like, I graduated UCLA in design media arts and I spent, um, Yay. right out of college, I started working for a packaging company, a branding and advertising company called Dupuy Group up in Thousand Oaks. T.O. What, what? <laughs> what, what? And uh, I got a lot of, uh, Good experience developing uh, children's, uh, you know, packaging for, you know, foods. And then from there, I went to MGA, where they do the Bratz. Oh, and cool. um, I worked on some of that stuff. I worked on Shrek. And then I moved over to Little Tykes, doing packaging. And then they started to let me do a little bit of product design. And then I left that, and I went to Spin Master. And I worked on uh, mostly, like, girl stuff, like Zubles and their <laughs> girl line. And then eventually you they say it like you're ashamed. It's I'm not okay ashamed. I'm not, I love lines. girl stuff, but I mean, I I don't know. I love cute stuff, so yeah. What's wrong with that? No, like, I'm not. I'm not ashamed. Those are great toys. <laughs> yeah. No, they're they're cool. And um, then I uh, eventually I did uh, a couple years in packaging. And I switched over to product design, the boys' action team. Nice. Where Nate from Squid Kids was my boss. Nice. <laughs> he was a very good boss. You I don't. You don't have to say that. He's yeah, not you, your don't, boss you don't work here anymore. So. <laughs> but he's still my friend, though. He was an excellent boss. He was an excellent boss. <laughs> wink. He wink. never beat me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now that's not nice. So wait, did you work with Linda in Girls Toys? I did actually. Okay. Linda was, was a Zubal designer, so yeah. I'd have to bug her a lot for her stuff. Nice. And then now so do you, you took just, all of that experience. Do you yes. do your own thing full time now? Is I that... do. I, I mean, I, I, I do all my full things. I still contract for other toy companies. But I think that's what's really great is that, um, you know, people have seen, you know, all the hyperactive monkey stuff. And then they've contacted me and like, we want you to work on something, you know, t bring this style and kind of this kind of flavor to one of our products or ideas. So, bring your flavor. Is that bring your flavor? Just like orange Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> or Coca-Cola. Bringing it around. Cher yeah. Ice cherry. There we go. That one. Yeah. Can't say words. That's, you know, that's what's... I think that's the great thing is that, you know... So it's I'm, great to make your own product and you're also sort of advertising your own skill set. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to do what I love, you know, mm -hmm. and have fun. That's how we feel every day. And sleep day. until 10 a.m. <laughs> oh, and I go to bed at 10 a.m. Um, what was your first product? For Hyperactive First Monkey. Project. Do you remember? Yes. Our, well, you mean toy or product product? I think our, seriously, our first product was a t-shirt. Well, a t-shirt doesn't oh, really count. Okay. I mean, that, but yeah, like, okay. let's, say, uh, let's say more toy. toy or okay, so it was uh, Nate from Squid Kids. He, he sculpted me a Ninja Monkey. I'm first I didn't bring yes. him. Yes. No, that's okay. And he did, yeah, we sold out a lot of them, and he we did that. I believe we him. may have shown those at Comic-Con. You, ha you yes, have. You I think did. You did. You did. So and, that was the first one? Yeah. See, guys, and that was resin. That was Resin. Right? Resin Rocks. Mana Studios. Yes. So, like, you start with one thing, and then you grow an empire. Speaking of Resin. Wait, speaking of. What do you got in the this is this is bag? This is also from the future past. Future. So, this is, uh, this is, this was our Designer Con exclusive. We have long sold out of these, but, uh, I but saved you guys one. What? Because I knew that I was in the past was you going to be in the future. <laughs> So. In case you have, like, if you find a box of these, are there going to be any online? Like, yes, <gasps> yes. You should yes. open the bag. You should I have the excitement. It. Oh, I, you already I saw, it? saw it. I pre-saw it. He sneaks everything. <laughs> He's such a sneak. Future George saw it. <gasps> so, like, one of our, our second products is we did a uh, I didn't see the bot. a monkey kung fu bank, and uh, we have long sold out of those. So I want to do something uh, smaller and just easier to produce. Nope. And uh, so I had Jay from Mana, the, the Mana Studios guys did this for me. Their work is so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Like, look at his little butt. I just want to rub it all day. Yeah, each one's unique. Like the did way they did this, already? I always. That's where you get the power, the monkey power from. You rub the monkey butt. Um, I think just because, like, you know, 
it, it's really like because I asked them to do like a jade, so it's like marbled, and each one's li really different. Like some are super like transparent with a little bit of like milkiness to it, and then there's like some that are completely milk. It's 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 amazing to and me. It's so smooth. Like I mean, it smooth like I a baby's bottom. Smooth like a monkey's <laughs> bottom. A baby monkey's bottom. If I just saw that sitting in a store, I would have thought it was. It looks like glass. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, they do they do amazing work. It looks like polished stone or glass yeah. or anything. Like it's it's crazy. But also, just look at the great design. And here's something else I find fun about your work. And I think it kind of I happen to know that you are a video game fan. Yes. But I see it translate into your work a little yes. bit, and it brings that sort of pop culture fun video. Yeah. Like, because I, I play video games, so like yeah. I like that style. I mean, we grew up. I mean, I grew up watching tons of kung fu flicks and. I, oh, I, you like kung fu? I do. Oh, I that's do cool. Like kung fu. We should talk about that sometime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Sure, it just took me. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that's you know, that's all you know what we put into this, this these products. Do you have a favorite kung fu movie? I do. I like um, I like the Shaolin Temple. I like Five Fingers of Death. I love oh. the Five Deadly Venoms. I like you have a lot of favorite movies. Kung Fu Hustle, huh? Dude, Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle. Dude, this thing is... Yeah. I don't have a word for it other than gorgeous. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's amazing. And just the characters, super great. So all of you that have a time machine need to go back in time to design a con and pick it. And pick one of those. <laughs> or... Which they already he, did. Yes. Because that's why they're sold out. Yeah. In case he finds a box of them yes. or something somewhere, I mean, you could check hyperactivemonkey.com. Yes. Yeah. And how much were these? Those are 40 Okay, nice. I feel like that is a reasonable price for such a quality. Yeah, come in a little, quality little, little, little wood block little print. monkey sack. Little Printed. wood pock print, wood print, uh, pouch. Little pouch. Yeah. Wood print wood, pouch. Wood, wood, wood print pouch. That's hard to say. Wood print pouch. This is awesome. You have so yeah. much stuff. You got monkey puppets. Monkeys and. Yeah. Let's draw off a couple of older things so, that oh, are yeah, no longer yeah. available. You definitely can't get these ones. Sorry, guys. Those are our. Uh, those, Those are Goku prints. prints that we did that I colored, watercolored. And I remember George wanting one, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. Those are beautiful. It. So I want to give one to you. You really? And George. Thank you so much. Is there a specific one? Because I assume this one's for me. Yes. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm going to put it on my desk. Yeah. So cool. Thank you. Are you excited? I am. You should put your little Imaginex luchador next to it. I know. He looks like it. I'm going to put him <laughs> up near They have like a similar. <laughs> yeah. Color, the colors are yeah. similar yeah. in that. They could totally hang out. The turquoise out. and red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, where is it? They're over on the... Uh, behind the little He-Man guys over there. All right, so... I see them. I see them. So these guys were limited, correct? Yes. And then are your puppets limited? I no, we have, we have a lot. I mean, we we have... there. You can get them online. Um, DK distributes them, too. Okay. Oh, so it's an open edition. Yeah. So you yeah. could make more. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Buy more to, for me to make more. Buy lots of them so you can make. Do you have plans to maybe and make it? We would love to. I would love to. Like, we actually, when we prototyped them, we did it two ways. We actually did uh, a pancake plush. Oh, yeah. So we did do other characters that we can easily translate to puppets. Nice. Yeah. Freaking amazing. Thank you. But there's just so many characters in here that, like... Yes. I mean, he could be a puppet. But he's only drunk off soda pop and Only drunk off, of them. course. I, I meant to yeah, imply like, nothing else. Know. Yeah, like so that's this guy. He's that guy, but like in a puppet, he yeah. got his plush yeah. little little beard, little beard, a mustache. Do you get this adorable. this page? Do you understand this, the concept of this page? Of this page? Yes. Uh, I see the cricket. That's a grasshopper. Uh huh. Young grasshopper. Yes. There's a grasshopper reference. Yes. Great grandmaster. And then what's in his hand? The pebble. Oh, George is good. <laughs> No, he's just saying what he sees. Oh, it's like from... Take the pebble from yeah, his hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopper, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was like, is it deeper than I, that? Yeah, I was oh, like, what, am I, I supposed to go deeper? <laughs> no, and some people are like, why does he have a piece of chocolate in his hand? Oh, <laughs> no, I, <didn't. laughs> I thought you were tricking me. I was like, no, no, no. is there like some no. mystical Buddhist... I thought there was like a reference we weren't getting. Reference no, I'm not I'm supposed like, to know. Okay, These good. bunnies have yes. to be... Happy bunnies. Have to be made. That's happy? Oh! Jackrabbit jump. Oh, I just... Yeah. Great art, dude. Yeah. yeah. And it's fun. And if you have a local favorite toy store and you want them to carry it, tell them they can contact DKE if they yeah. want to pick up the stuff. Dragon Tomy carries it. Giant Robot has it. There you go. Buy it at those fine retail locations and many others. Oh! Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hyperactivemonkey.com. Go check out Jerome's stuff. Your art is amazing, sir. Your plush oh, is thank extremely you. soft. You're too nice. You guys are too nice. 
No, we're only as nice as we need to be. We're actually kind of <laughs> dicks. This oh, is, but this is, it's Mousy Miji. So it's softer than Mousy It might Michi. be softer than Mousy Miji it's was. Pretty, it's pretty darn soft. It might be the new, like... The new standard? The new standard of soft. Wow. That sounds that's like a Downey that's, commercial. <laughs> that's Monkey Puppet Soft. Funky, funky, funky puppet. Can we have a theme song? Doodly doo. Doodly doo. <laughs> <laughs> That's already taken. All right. Shall we get on to some non-Jerome yes. things? Do you want to play with some other toys? I, I, I always want to play with toys. All right. Let's play with, um, let's see. We did that. Let's do these first. So I've been wanting to open these so bad. What? I know, right? Here, you can open them. They're like micro machines, open. but not micro hot wheels. So these are monster jam. Go ahead, open them. I these want are to look at the package. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, open it. He's a packaging guy. I know. Totally. I'm like, don't, 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 it clicked as soon as he said it. I was like, oh, of course he wants to look at the packaging. When you were in school, did you go for pack? Was it packaging design, no. or you just happened to that's where your path led? I, I mean, I think I just I really just picked was a quick learner with like Photoshop and Illustrator. Oh, okay. In in school, so that helped translate into. Can you uh, teach work. me Illustrator? Because I'm terrible at Illustrator's it. Illustrator's fun. Uh. I use mostly Illustrator now, more than Photoshop. I like both. That's like good. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Can't pick one. You You're like them both. <laughs> Wait, what? Olsen? All right, so these are Monster Jam Mighty Minis. These are from Mattel. You get a set of two monster trucks for only $5. What? I know, right? So apparently you put them in the little clicky thing, and then you... Psh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's fun. And of course, I assume that you're supposed to shoot them at each other, but I suppose you could also race them. Oh, ah. that's cool. They're die cast. This is crazy for five dollars. This is really cool. I actually just saw a tiny grave digger and I went nuts and I needed it. And then I was like, oh, and you get another one. That's cool. Have you guys ever been to a monster truck show? Oh my god, I think that's why my hearing is damaged. I as a kid, truck I went to monster trucks so often. I I I love. <laughs> I remember. Did you ever going... see Truckzilla? I did. Ah, I, loved I saw a grave digger and, and grave barefoot, digger? right? Oh, not not bigfoot. Big oh yeah, there was. This is a barefoot. I didn't see bigfoot. I have. You know, Ready? I probably am sure. Oh, whoa! Dream digger on my arm. These are fun. These are cool. Five dollars? Five dollars for two of them. You want to try shooting it? That's I mean, that's really cool. Like, they jam really... The Just jam it in, Aileen. Huh? That's it. <laughs> that's great. Couldn't be simpler. But Featuring power key launcher. I, I mean, they have a good weight to them, too. Yeah, and you know what's cool is since it's such a simple, like thing it's not gonna break yeah. well i mean i mean it could break obviously but it doesn't have a lot of crazy electronic shooting contraptions yeah. and like it's just a little clip and it just shoots oh <laughs> i like it i like how you're putting the key in it and launching it oh yeah like you're starting yeah. it like it's a key i get it ignition is the hot wheel this is i i take it the hot wheels that's team, team, hot wheels. team hot wheels yeah team hot wheels grave digger oh. monster mutt shocker shocker Oh, yeah, I always get the shocker. What? Uh, that's right, that's it. <laughs> Wrecking Crew, Grinder, and another Team Hot Wheels. Oh, it works even <laughs> if you're not on a table. Yeah, it shoots. That's what it does. Don't shoot these at your friends. Too Get, late. Shoot your eye out. It's possible. Uh, these are pretty cool. That's why I wear glasses. I think it's fine box time. <gasps> <laughs> that, George, what, what do we have today for blind box? Do you guys know what time it is? Today we have, do you remember character building guys? We did a bunch of Doctor Who versions. Yes. Today we have the micro figure Scooby Doo. Good one, Scooby Doo. Scooby -Doo where are you? Jinkies. Got some work for you now. I hope work, I get Daphne. Daphne's what you want? I want. I want one of those skeletons. Yeah, I want one of those skeletons. I'll take any monster though. Is there no Scooby? It's just the two girls and then a bunch That's of monsters. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that yeah. is weird. There's like, no you don't... dudes? Yeah, there's no... What's the... Shaggy? Shaggy and... Well, I want Velma. I, I want guess. Daphne. This is so... What a weird thing. So this is series one. They're like... But they don't have the main characters. At... You gotta save Boys something for series two. And obviously this is from the new Scooby-Doo cartoon. New Scooby-Doo. Where are you? How do you do that? My teeth. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do it? I use it my teeth. You don't use my teeth on yours. No, you're gonna ruin my toy mojo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a monster. It's not a skeleton, but I got a monster. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I got Velma. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find all of her pieces. Jinkies. Isn't that what they say? That is what she says. <laughs> that is absolutely what she says. 
Did you ever watch those movies? They were actually kind of funny. With um, oh the live action. Yeah. I thought that yeah they were. What funny. was her name? From Sarah Buffy? Michelle Gellar. Yeah. Michelle Gellar. I was like I can't watch this. She's in that, and then I watch it, and I was like that's pretty funny. <laughs> Blah. Oh, I got blood. Oh, too. we both got it. Did they go in the dark? It looks Vampire. like it. Vampire. Yeah. I don't know. They're. Hi guys. Is that how long? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think that's it. I think Hi you guys. Got it. I, th I think Hi that guys. was Shaggy. <laughs> Ooh, there's two skeletons, red eye and green eye. If anything, I think that was Shaggy. Look at Hi guys. <laughs> it really is. It's two girls and all be and all monsters. Monsters. Man crab. It that's the best. Like... Man crab. Man crab. It looks like Dracula does glow. It looks oh, like good. it's glowing on the sheet. Well, he needs to charge because I just checked and he's not glowing yet. Sasquatch, Blackbeard, so Yeti. These are awesome. Man crab's the best because he comes with that one arm claw. This is like the pre Daria. <laughs> right? That was the best. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There was this picture of me in high school. There was a yearbook picture of me, and I accidentally didn't even realize it at the time because it was the 90s. Uh -huh. I didn't even realize I was wearing an orange shirt and a green army jacket and black glasses, and I had red <laughs> And I was like, I accidentally dressed like Daria that day. Or, or Velma. Pre Velma. Pre Velma. <laughs> it's pre Velma. She's like the original nerd. Can you take the hair or no? No. no, not. Can you take Velma's hair off? No. Okay. So it just comes in a couple little parts. They're cute little things. I f they look to me like um, a lot of little girl like dollhouse dolls. Like Polly Pocket. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and they kind of move like that. Yeah. So oh, these man. would be great for your Polly Pocket. They're can you imagine to be if they Lego. had the little like Scooby Doo haunted house set that would like pew yeah. and I can carry it with me in my purse? I would totally do that. These are really cool. I like these. All right. These get a seal of approval from all three of us, right, George? Ooh, there's Zoinks points on there. <laughs> Zoinks! What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you have two Scooby-Doo fans. All right, what do we got next? I have the Scooby-Doo soundtrack from the old cartoon. Oh, I'm very proud of you. Are you? Let's get back to some reviews. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so... <gasps> I thought you might like this for some reason, Jerome. Derpy! <laughs> Wait, that's... It's I Heart. We random don't know. Poetry. Yeah, a random Because poem. it's not it's the not, official name. It's not derpy. Did you to open this? Sure, I'll be the guy. So this is a cupcake keepsake. What? Which is kind of hard to say. It's from Funko. Uh, we have a My Little Pony version here. Oh, it's like nails <laughs> on a chocolate. They also have uh, Disney versions of these guys. So there's different ponies and there's also what? Disney versions. That's, that's pretty cool. Of these characters. And they take... Like George is about to show you here after he breaks Don't it. Don't break it! <laughs> they take a character and they make it look like a cupcake head. Cupcake keepsakes. This is a crazy thing. And it comes with an entire little stand. Why? And it's covered in glitter. It's this is a choking hazard. It is. Don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm watching you. This is cute. <laughs> but why? <laughs> so you can eat your pony? But why is it... <laughs> but why? What age... <laughs> Limit is this. Does it have an age? Can I? This doesn't have an age. Oh, wait, you can open the head. Oh, that's where you put your, <laughs> your stuff. Your choking hazard pieces. <laughs> Other toys. Store cupcake pieces inside. Oh, so it is supposed to detach. Oh, so you make put all the body and stuff in the little cupcake. What? Yeah, take the body off. This doesn't look like it comes off, though. It says it does. Just break it. Just pull it. Just pull it. You can do it. Yeah. And, and apparently what? you make a little self-contained... Put the hair in there? Cup. Wait, put the hair piece. Oh, the ears. I think the hair still... Oh, and the ears. No, this all comes off. What? It's like a pony transformer. Pony former. And now you've now got Now eat a your pony! Cupcake. <laughs> now you've got a single sad cupcake. Why? There you go! That's what I said in the beginning. I think it's cool. I like the thing. I don't understand why it exists. Who would come up with this? Someone who Funko. loves You know, I cupcakes. sure do love cupcakes, <laughs> and I sure do love My Little Pony. <laughs> if only there was a way to change my My Little Pony into a cupcake, and then put it in a tiny glass container. Wow, this is okay for three and up. This just says zero to three is no go. I'm kind yeah. of I disagree on those little parts. I'm surprised. Is there so air holes? <laughs> <laughs> No. Not that any of us have been contesting <laughs> before. Um, but so it, for ponies, they have Derpy, Fluttershy, DJ Pony, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Dr. Hooves, and Twilight Sparkle. Which, it's cool. They have, like, Dr. Hooves and stuff. Yeah. I don't get this. This it's is this. I a, am not the target audience for this. My, is this the kind of product you would work on? 
Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Now you've got a sad little cupcake. The only weird thing though is like if you look at it like this, like where it's just great, that's probably the most unappetizing yeah. cupcake ever. It's like what flavor is that? It's gray. It's gray, it's gray. and yellow and see through yellow. Yeah. It's pea yellow and gray. Gray and pea. It's gray and pea What's... flavored. It's like yeah, eggplant and That's like what squash. you make as a kid. <laughs> oh. oh. That might make a delicious muffin though. Could be. That's like a healthy strange. muffin. I know it. <laughs> what a strange thing. Well, how much was this? <sighs> that is a good. Oh, they go for thirteen dollars. And well, you know what's cool is this on its own. No. Yeah. Put put the oh. Scooby Doo guys in here. It's got a little. I oh, it got a little plaque. Like a little label. Yeah. Put the put. A, you can put whatever toy you want in here. You don't have to keep your. Your derpy in here. You certainly don't have to keep. Where your you keep in your here. derpy? Boom. Captured. Right there. That's a that Scooby-Doo happened. episode. <laughs> <laughs> the evil Been baker. For those <laughs> kids. Um, what a strange thing. So this exists. I don't remember what Disney ones they had. I think they had, like, villains. Whoa. Not even, like, princesses? No, there might be princesses, too, but I think there were female villains. Because like, I, I think I saw Maleficent. Maybe. I can't remember. Not Derpy. It's, it's a thing. All right, I don't. I, we gotta move on. <laughs> We're speechless. Let's. I don't even know what to say about this thing. Let's. Do you want to grab one more thing from down there? Yeah, let's do it. Or do you want to play with your derpy cupcake? Derpy cakes. Derpy cakes. It's not derpy though, right? It's an it's official not derpy cakes. cross eye. Let's manly this table up a bit. What <laughs> is this? <laughs> this is construct bots. This is the deluxe edition. This is obviously Transformers. Would you uh, like to open yeah, it? Yeah, we actually don't thing. know much about this. It was this a, is Hasbro? This is Hasbro. But it's this, not Creo? It is not Creo. Interesting. Interesting. I'll take oh. that. Oh, everybody gets their own. Wow. Oh, we got Megatron. Oh, two separate. So we have Megatron and Optimus Prime. Wow, look Here, at wait, all let those me parts. Look, I'll look at the box okay. while you look at it. It comes that. in a Tupperware container. Not official Tupperware. It has 135 total pieces. Tupperware's got like a cool Transformers logo on it. You build two Or you could be a bugs. Decepticon. Construct, customize, convert, customize in battle, Transformers.com. So when I looked this up, uh, I only had a moment because this was sort of a last minute substitution on the show. It, uh, there was a lot on the site, the, the Hasbro site, like they have like a, what is it? It says Transformers.com, but there was like a whole section for the Construct bots. There was like an app you could download. Oh, wow. There was interactive elements online to show you about battling. It was pretty interesting. So these are not Creo in any way. They they are just their own thing. It's kind of like what are those other oh, it's Lego? Oh, like a snap together kit. What are those other Lego ones? The ones that are like the the like bigger robot looking guys. Creo. Oh no, it's the not Lego like thing. Oh, Bionicle. But yeah, they kind of look, like, look like they look like that to me. What's interesting though is like these actually you can transform like. You don't have to disassemble this to make like the vehicle mode. No, oh, it's still transform. Yeah. So like, if you look at that, the end of the construction instruction manual, oh, it shows wow. like transformation uh, steps, which is cool because that that's like I know my my complaint with Creo was like you build a robot but you can't trans transform. Don't transform. Right? Did and you that's hear what a transformer is supposed to do? It's kind of its one thing. Yes. That it does. Um, did you hear Creo has the license for? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's cool. It is, except that it's Creo. I know. But it's cool that, like, I didn't even know that any of the brick companies could get Dungeons and Dragons. I thought that was the satanic them. game. Oh, please. Just kidding. Get out of here. Do you remember the Saturday morning cartoon? Oh, yeah. I love that cartoon. Of course. With the little goat unicorn. <laughs> Go to corn. <laughs> Go to corn. Go to corn. <laughs> oh, hey, ball joints. It's interesting. I, I kind of wanted to build this, but then I didn't realize there were going to be so many pieces. I know. I was like, it's, <laughs> I thought like, it'd come free assembly. It's complicated. This is going to take us like an hour to build, but I mean, we this could bring is... this back on a future episode yeah. and show it, show it off. You know what's really cool though? Tell us. Is is this container? Like, it's a good dude. storage container. But I would take this to school dude, and put my sandwiches in this, dude. <laughs> but you put your, your dessert. Yeah, your carrots or your cucumbers with ranch sauce or right your brownie. In there. And then your sandwich yeah. and like some fruit. Yeah, you could, you could probably fit a Capri Sun in here too. Oh, totally. 
And there's totally a little finished. separate box for your soup. I'm gonna start. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start eating all of my lunch out of these transformer cases. Look at that cool little like it has the little symbol. Oh. There's one right there. Oh, oh that's cool. awesome. For his little chest symbol. So that's cool. So this set, the deluxe set with two robots, Megatron. with Megatron and Optimus Prime, goes for thirty-five bucks. That's not bad. You can get it at, like Toys R Us for, like, and stuff. Two figures. Two figures. Well, when you consider the cost of like a Lego set, or even a Transformer. Or reg yeah, oh my gosh. It's like some of those deluxe transformer yeah. situations. Woo! I'm so glad that I am not a transformer. I, I buy the occasional one, but not a completist. I'm, I'm, I would be broke. I'm glad you're not a transformer too, Amy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool weapons. But if I like, were I'd be, the, like, I'd be uh, translucent weapons. This one's got like a metallic what green, would like you be? uh I wanna be um what the the biggest one, so Metroplex or Fortress Maximus. <laughs> Metro Fortress Maximus, just sound the <laughs> biggest. <laughs> what transformer would you be? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be a transformer. I think you'd be Ratchet because he's pretty cranky. Why no. am I cranky? George would be Mirage. <laughs> what is that? What's oh, what what's about the... Jazz? Oh, George would be Jazz. <laughs> Definitely Jazz. Are those lame? Come no, on. Jazz is the Transformers. best. Jazz right. is like the best out of the whole series. You guys are telling me I'm No, I'm serious. It's cool, it's amazing. star <laughs> <laughs> I will take over! <laughs> the that's worst. The... That's spot on star screen, right? I say that's spot, spot on. on star that's just perfect. This is cool, it comes a mace. Whoa! That's cool. And it matches your lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to put these together. I just, I, it, it'll take. Oh, I wish this turned. Oh, wait, um, mace gun. Mace window? That's cool. Great colors. All right, so they're they're Lego esque, buildable. They're not really Lego esque. They're just buildable robots. Yeah. Not in disguise. Just boat robots. It's. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, oh, feel the. It's got a cool ratchet system when Tension? you put it together. <laughs> Maybe George is ratchet. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Jeffrey Combs can't get over that voice. Feel I made me. a. That's cool. It's nice. It's got a good, like, stiff click. It's interesting, though, that, like, it's a new building system, so it's not compatible with, like, Lego. Yeah, there's or, not other yeah, brick compatible. Like, interesting. I wonder if they're going to make more stuff in this style, so, you know, then they come out with... Like G.I. Joe? Yeah, like a G.I. Joe, or don't they, they have another license. What else does Hasbro have? Battleship. They yeah, they're going to have battleship. <laughs> they're probably going to make giant battleship <laughs> figures to go with the, these. The summer blockbuster. Or probably My Little Pony. <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't see that. I saw it. How was it? I actually liked it. I kind of wanted to see I'm, it. But I'm, 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 I'm not, not, I'm not, not knocking the movie, but I'm very easy to please when it comes to movies. But I actually like Battleship. It got Rihanna Do you like it, it better than Pacific Rim? No, 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 no. no. Because Pacific Rim's the best. It's, uh, a cinematic. It's the cinematic tour de force. Yeah. Tour Citizen de Kane of kaiju <laughs> movies. <laughs> it is definitely the Citizen Kane of kaiju movies. I would agree with that. In fact, we should probably end Toy Break and go watch that right now. Can we go watch Pacific Rim? No. Again? No. For like my 18th time? No. Today, oh, we are ending the apocalypse. <laughs> So these are kind of, I mean, this is going to be pretty tall. When Look it's at done. you, you Look don't need this. No, I actually kind of like this. Maybe we should let you build while I tell people about events that are coming up. You can, I won't get very far, but you can certainly do It's okay, that. you don't have to get far. Alright, so coming up on the heels of, we're still kind of weirdly in con season. I feel mm -hmm. like it's always con season It's now. always con season. Uh, Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. It's Ooh. a celebration of comic books and pop culture at the Long Beach Convention Center in Long Beach, California on November 23rd and 24th. LongBeachComicCon.com. I'm going to leave some of those out for you to step on later, too. And while we're talking about robots, don't forget about Robo Toy Fest and Brick Boutique. Woo -hoo! Robots and bricks. Lego, Mega Bloks, all kinds of bricks. At the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, California, on December 15th, Robotoyfest.com. I love that one. I believe it's still free to get into. It's super cheap if not. It's super cheap if not, but I think it might still be free. Wow. So, free day with kids. That's go. awesome. And I remember last year. Oh, no, I think because if you go early, you, you, like, you can get a goodie bag. 
Oh right, you if you go early, early bird, it's like it's five, like five bucks. bucks, and you get yeah. like a goodie bag, and you get and you get to get in and buy first stuff dibs. First dibs. First dibs. And they have a couple artists show up, and they have some Lego stuff, and they have some a ton of robots, it's, all sorts of robots. It's awesome. I love that show. Um, and they had um, Mega Block, I think, sponsored. Oh wow. The last one in May? Question mark. And they had like a bunch of freebies for the kids, and kids got to like take home whatever they built out of cool. the pile. It's cool. It's fun. If you're in the area in LA, come check it out. George? Yes. Anything else to add? How far have you gotten? Um, I'm on page five. I'm not very far. How, but out I'm, of how many pages? I'm, I'm quite a slow builder. Um, slow builder. Slow That's your Indian name. Slow builder. Native American. I'm sorry. No, I was Indian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eastern Asian. <laughs> Eastern Asian name. Um, okay, so that's it. Don't forget to check out Hyperactive Monkey with Jerome right here. And he, again, he sold out of all of his decon stuff. But in case he finds a box yes. of it somewhere, it'll be up on Hyperactive yep. Monkey. You can also save money at a bunch of places online with Toy Break coupons. What? Crazy, isn't it? You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details, as well as links to everything like hyperactivemonkey.com. You can also watch past episodes. You can join the contest in the forum. You can join the discussions. You can download Paper Toys of Us. Paper Toys? You're like, I don't have anything to do. It's raining and it's Saturday. What should I do? Build a Paper Toy of Us. There's three different kinds. By Alexander Gwynn, Zucane, and Castlefort. You can also get, like I mentioned before, your free toy break print from Victory Deluxe. A free toy break print? Freezies! (laughs) Um, If you order, they have like 24-hour prints, kind of like the t-shirt sites. Yeah, so you can go buy these cool like pop culture prints. They're super cheap, and you get a free Toy Break print if you put in Toy Break. Like, that's amazing. You can also help support the show by doing what you do every day, which is shopping on Amazon. And I know you do. I do. I do. I do. I have, what's the Super Savings account or oh, whatever? Oh, it's the uh, Prime. The Prime, yeah. Ugh. Optimus Doesn't Prime? it just, like, ch- Optimus. Yes, Amazon Optimus But here's the trick. I always cancel it after a month, so I just put all my orders in one month what? and then cancel it. Do and you then, really? then I redo it up, and up it again when they have that offer. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> we have a, there's a way you can like share it with other people. What? You can share it with up to like five household members, but I don't know if they change the rules. I'm not I'm not one of your household members though, so we couldn't share it. <laughs> well, that's the thing is like, technically it's shared with other people that aren't in our house. What? But like, I don't know if they change the rule. Yeah. I don't know how that worked, but Amazon's awesome though. Fine. Amazon is awesome. Very cool. So uh, if you're going to shop there, click on the, <laughs> click on the link on toybreak.com, and that helps support the show, and we really appreciate it. it keeps lights on, tapes rolling, Jerome, up to his neck and monkeys. Yes. And as always, you can always call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, our toy girls, and full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. Uh, hey, calendar... It's advent calendar time almost. What? Advent calendar's the best. Advent calendar's awesome. Lego advent calendar? Yes, and we open three of them. What? Every day. What? I know. How crazy is that? We got, well, you need a deluxe version. A deluxe version? A mega advent deluxe Lego. Maybe we should do a design your toy advent calendar. That'd be awesome. That'd be incredible. All right, you can also follow <laughs> us on social networks like Twitter. You can follow at Toy Break. And on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At j Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> you can also get the link in the show notes to that. George? Yeah. What? He's almost done. He's we should have done this done. first and he could have built it. Damn. Why didn't we think of that earlier? But now it's like a cliffhanger. Like by ending oh, it. Oh, that up. movie was terrible. I love that movie. It was okay. I wouldn't say I love that Stallone movie. That versus just, a snowy mountain. Have you, yes. But have you watched it recently? Because like yeah. a month ago. I, <laughs> oh, you did? Me too. Like a month ago. I was like, man, that opening scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a little bit dated, shall yes, we say. Yes. And then you watch Pacific Rim and all is right with the world. Pacific Rim, awesome. There's just nothing better. I but you know so. what I haven't done yet that I keep meaning to? Double feature Robot Jocks in Pacific Rim. Oh, Robot Jocks. Robot Jocks. Ah. I will crush you like a bug. Robot I love that movie as a kid and as an adult. <laughs> Are you going to just keep building? Do you want to say uh, anything to the no, audience? We could, to our fans? To I our think, viewers? I think we could be done. Like, this is going to take me a few more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we will check back with you later. Thank you for being oh, on the no couch. Problem. Thank, Thank you. you for taking Thank a toy Thank you for break. having me. Thanks for coming. So and nice Thanks, for, by thanks for making yes. us monkeys. I, I will always make you guys monkeys. That That's might amazing. be like the coolest thing ever. No. Yeah. No, <laughs> it actually... You know what the coolest thing ever is? What? Pacific Rim. Yeah! <laughs> Pacific Rim! All right, uh, so with that... Rocket. 
We will <laughs> see you next week. Same toy time. Same toy channel. Bye, everyone. Eat your cereal and be hyperactive monkey. <laughs>